Welcome back to Cooking with E. Today we're going to make steak sandwiches. Stay tuned. All right. So here's what we're going to need to make this happen. We got a little provolone cheese, some butter, some uh, thin cut ribeye steak. And today we're going to use Stagner. This is going to be our steak seasoning. Really like this stuff. It's from Barbecue Galore. Go ahead and try some of that sometime if you like. And then just some hot dog buns, very simple. But today is a special day. It is my wife's birthday. She turns 29 today. <clears throat> and uh, this is one of her favorite sandwiches, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to make it. First things, chop up some green pepper and a little bit of onion. Go ahead and Tuck them on on the hot grill. And I'm gonna take a little bit of oil, not a lot. Just a touch of oil. Throw it on there. And then, as you guys know, if you've watched my channel at all, you gotta throw a little bit of seasoning on there. So I'm just gonna take the same stuff with the steak, because for some reason, when you put the same seasoning on everything, it just tastes real darn good. I'm telling you, your mom and I'm gonna love this. So. Throw them on, and I'm going to let them sit for a little bit, and then I'll go ahead and throw some butter on top of them, just because vegetables love butter. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and mix these together a little bit. And then I'm going to grab some butter. Just using your basic butter. Pull a little dowel out of there. Chuck them on. Mix them on in there. Throw just a touch more oil on them. That'll help them to soften up a little bit. I'm telling you, you gotta smell this. It smells amazing. Now you can throw mushrooms or whatever else you want in there, but uh, this is our normal staple when we make these sandwiches. Keep it simple. We're not looking to sit there and cut up vegetables for an hour, so this is what we use. All right, I'm going to finish these up, and it's time for steak. Okay, so I'm just going to take this. I don't have this side on or this side on, so I'm going to slide this over. Right here. And get my steak on. Oh, got a jumper. Hey. All right, so I got the steak out of the package here. You just kind of throw it on and move it around a little bit, just to kind of start separating it. It'll separate more as it starts to cook, but it's uh, great time to chuck a little seasoning on there. And then, to get this top to go, because the bottom's already starting to go, I'll show you. Throughout this process, you're going to want to take and push all this meat in a pile, like this, we'll season it once again, take your little cover, put it on there, make sure you got enough room where you can squirt water under it, we'll do a little bit of steam bath on this stuff as well. Just helps it cook real thorough. Just like that. This stuff honestly cooks in a probably two to three minutes tops. We've already got our veggies all happy over there. This stuff doesn't take long. It's pretty simple. I'm telling you, you have to try this when you run out of ideas for a new dinner. So I'm going to go ahead, after I've steamed it just a little bit, flip it again. I'm going to start pulling it apart. That just slides apart like that. 
because I cooked one layer of it. Just gonna sit and do this throughout all that meat. Take one edge and it helps to push that stuff apart like that. If you try to do it like this, you'll move the whole piece. So take your corner, just kind of shove it away. Just like that. Yeah. See, we still got some uncooked, obviously. But as I keep pulling it apart, those get thinner and thinner. Once you start getting it separated and you get enough of this stuff that has not been seasoned and exposed to the love, show it in like that. Give it another little shake. There you go. Now we got it seasoned. Let me go ahead and just keep flipping this stuff. It cooks super, super fast. If you find red spots like that, flip it over and get it on that grill, the griddle top there. So once you think you have it separated out enough where you're comfortable with the size of the chunks that are going to go in the sandwiches, then I push it back in the middle again. We'll put our trusty little top on there. So let me separate these a little bit more. Right about there. Take all your stuff. Shove it in a nice little happy circle here. Let's do a little more water. I don't know how much I got left. It's starting to run out. There we go. Let them sit there. Alright, once you hear that sizzle stop, I'll leave it just a second. I'll pull it. I'll take a little more butter on there. Because they're so thin, they don't have a lot of fat. And you have to add fat to it, otherwise you end up with real dry, not very good tasting stuff. So go ahead and flip your butter around in there. Oh, you could smell this. Are you kidding me? Crazy. So good. Like I said, this is for my beautiful wife, whose birthday is right now. We just got out of the pool to make some dinner and I said honey let me show people how we show our love for you and everything you do for this family so please make sure you do the same for your wife when it's her birthday all right I'm gonna go ahead and finish this stuff off here get this pulled and we'll start the next process stay tuned all right so I'm gonna take some butter here and I'm gonna get one of my buns Thank you, JT. And I'm just gonna take and try and spread this butter. It's not a, a science, you just put a little bit on there. Just kind of spread it around. And have a little bit of love from when you're flipping the meat, but that's all good. Trust me, it adds to the love of that sandwich. And just take this and chuck it on there. Now it's already 106 out, so. Ain't gonna take too long for these things. This this grill is really really hot. So I'm just gonna wait for that to stop sizzling a little bit, and then I'm gonna pull it off, and I'm gonna do the rest. But I, you got to do them fast. If you, you can't put these on and walk away, you're gonna have garbage. So be careful of that. All right. So we're at the point now where I've toasted some buns over there. I'm gonna take and put what I feel is a healthy amount for a bun and I'm going to take our provolone it's already been out in 100 degree weather so it's pretty soft already I don't know if I'll have to use my my cover I'm going to go ahead and split it so I can get cheese all the way down this thing put a little bit of cheese on there cheese on there 
set that on there just for a second. My waterfall has started, so that's not me doing something bad, just so you know. Set for a second. I ran out of water. I do a little steam, but we're good. Let's see. We got anything left? That's about it. We're just looking for the cheese to be melted. And remember, this is going to get hot the more it sits, so don't do what I just did. There we are. See? Melted. So I'm going to go ahead and take this, pull it off. Yay, 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 yay. A little too much there, Dad. I set it on top. Like that. Oh, it's falling off. Trust me. This don't look beautiful. Yet. Throw a little bit of your onion and green pepper on there. There you go. And as you can tell, I didn't try to make this one super fancy. This is what it's going to come out as. So if you want it to look like a picture, you can take extra time stacking everything beautiful. Trust me, this is going to be one of the best steak sandwiches you've had. All right, so we're ready to go. Now this is not something that you should eat with your Sunday tuxedo on. It's going to be sloppy, but it's going to be good. Mmm, man. Telling you. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. You gotta go make you some of that. Hit that subscribe button. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Happy birthday, honey. Love you.